So I was asked by one of the members of our community if I could dig a little bit deeper into how the Remember Me token works with the WebGuard and AdonisJS authentication. So we're going to dig into that just a little bit deeper here today. So you can see each one of the different methods for the WebGuard accepts the Remember Me token in some fashion. The attempt accepts it as the third argument and then the login and login via accept it as the second. This is just a Boolean value as you can see set right up here. If it's set to true, AdonisJS will store a token on the Remember Me token property on the user model. And then once the user session expires, it will use that token to regenerate out a fresh session for the user so that their authentication state continues onward. So the most simplistic way to set this up within your model is if we dive into an application here, I'm just going to use the Adonis user role authentication one, dive into our model. Let's take a look at our user model here. We have a remember me token column here that's set to a string or null. It can be nullable because if they're not remembering their state, then it's going to be a null value. Otherwise, it's going to be a string, which will be our actual token value. On the migration in itself, if we dive into our user's migration, this is set up just like so. So we have a table string remember me token and it's nullable. So the value here will be persisted into our user model as this remember me token column. And AdonisJS will automatically set this column anytime that we provide true as the remember me value within one of these three authentication methods. So to actually provide this Boolean value from our form, let's dive into our welcome page where our login form is here. What we would want to do is provide some form of checkbox. So we could do a label, provide an input type of checkbox, set the name to something like remember me. Let's also add a label for this as well. So let's give that a save. And next let's go ahead and jump into our authentication controller underneath our login. So first we'll take a look at how it looks without a validator. So here we're just grabbing properties off of the request body. So we would just add in remember me here, grab that out of the data. And then we have our attempt method here. So that we need to do is cast whatever value is within the remember me to a Boolean. So we can do two exclamation points as the bang bang operator to convert that into a Boolean and then pass in remember me there. Let's also go ahead and console.log that out so that we can see exactly what that value is. Give that a save. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and dive into our application there. So first let's log in with it unchecked so that we can see how that property is being populated whenever we're not checking the checkbox. All right, so we logged in okay. Let's check out our terminal. And you can see it's coming up as undefined. So that's definitely going to be cast to falsy. We can validate that by jumping into our console here doing bang, bang, undefined. And you can see that is indeed false. So next let's go ahead and log out. Let's log in again. But this time let's go ahead and check that checkbox and click log in there. Now we can dive back into our terminal and you can see it's on. So it's not technically true or false, but still if you're doing bang, bang to a string of on, that's going to come through as truthy because it's a string with some sort of value. So that's still working a okay, despite it not being the technical true false value that you might expect. Let's go ahead and add a validator to this so that we can take a look at how that would look. So I'm going to go ahead and just comment that out. I'm going to copy the register validator here, which just has an email password requirement on it. And I'm going to add remember me to it, schema boolean. And you want to make that optional because if it's not checked, it's likely just not going to come up with a value at all. And then we could do const email password and remember me equals await request validate schema as that user schema that we copied from our registration. Give that a save. And now we can go ahead and console.log this out one more time so that we can see what exactly the value is here. Remember me, give that a save. Jump back into our application. Let's go ahead and log out. Let's try to log in again with this unchecked. All right, let's log in. So we logged in. Okay, let's check out our terminal. And you can see remember me is undefined, the same as it was whenever we weren't using the validator. And we've already verified that bang bang with undefined is falsy. Let's go ahead and log out and let's try logging in with it checked this time. Go ahead and check that and hit log in. Okay. Check out our terminal and you can see now it's coming through as the actual true value. So bang, bang to true is definitely going to be true. We can verify that in our terminal here. Bang, bang for true is true. So utilizing the simple bang, bang operator and providing it into the remember me slot for one of those three different authentication methods is going to easily allow you to persist your user's authentication state beyond their default session. So if you learned something new or you enjoyed this lesson, please consider hitting the like button down below and subscribing for future lessons just like this one. We do focus heavily on Adonis.js here, so if you're interested in it or learning more about it, please check out our other series and lessons, including the Let's Learn Adonis.js series where we learn Adonis.js from scratch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.